God beside you. Father, we bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we glorify you tonight. Be glorified, Jesus. Be glorified. God bless you. All those that are coming on, I want you to share this. Tonight is a night of, of prayer and the prophetic. I want to minister to God's people and I also want to bring you to some place in the word. So what I want you to do tonight, God bless you, Lexus. God bless you, Rosie. God bless you, Latasha. I want you to aggressively share this. I want you to find at least 10 friends, family members, enemies, and I want you to invite them to come to the prophetic flow tonight because there is a word from the Lord. There is something that God wants to say. There's something that God wants to do. So I want you to join in and invite. I want you to share. The more you share, the more you invite, the more visible you become. And yes, I am live right now. Amen. And it's from my office. I've been working on my office. It's, it's still a, it's a little bit of a wreck so far, but I'm I'm gonna uh, work on it a little bit more. So I want you to help me, and I want you to I want you to be my share warrior tonight. Share and invite, Father. We give you praise and we give you the glory. We give you the honor because you are God. Beside you, there is no other God. We magnify you. We glorify you, Jesus. God bless you, Michelle. Thank you for the stars. God bless you, Carolyn Wilson. God bless you, Allison. You are worthy to be praised. God bless you, Patricia Owens. Worthy to be praised, Jesus. Hannah says she lost her job today. Father, make a way for Hannah right now out of no way. You are worthy to be praised, Jesus. God bless you in Trinidad. God bless you, Ava. I'm going to share it to some groups right now. I came on a little bit late, but it's by his grace that I'm here tonight. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, Sandra, Latanya. God bless you, Kwame. I'm going to send out a text. Hold on. So, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, God, as we come before you tonight, God, I'm asking in the mighty name of Jesus, God, that you would move upon this line. 
I'm asking, oh God, that right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you would touch all these, God, that have gathered. We thank you, God, for this day, God, of fasting, this day of consecration, God, that we fasted and that we pray before you on this day. And so, God, I'm asking, God, that tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, that you would move by way of the supernatural, God, that you would touch all those, oh God, that connect to this line. I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that there will be an open heaven, that there will be signs, that there will be wonders, that there will be miracles that will be released about every individual that connects to this live tonight. I pray that not one of them will leave the way that they have come, but God, that they would all leave another way. I pray that even God, as they gather, I pray, Lord, that you would scatter every enemy that is in their life, that you would deal, God, with every warfare, God, that have risen up against them. God, you are the God that answers by fire. And so tonight, God, I'm asking that, that by your fire, you would answer these, your people. I'm asking that by your fire, oh God, that you would shake the foundation, God, of every struggle. That you would overturn, that you would dismantle, that you would remove every wickedness of the enemy that is over them, that is against their life. Today, in the name of Jesus, let there be an answer. Let there be deliverance in their homes. Let there be deliverance in their lives. I pray, God, over everyone that comes on this live. I pray for the healing of, I pray for healing in their bodies. That God, you would heal every one of their bodies from the crown of their head God down to the soles of their feet Father you said in your word oh God that by your stripes God that we were healed and so tonight God I call for your healing virtue I call for your healing power, God, to be manifested in the lives of your people. I call for your healing virtue, God, to begin to flow into every organ of their body. I call for the healing virtue to flow into every system of their body right now, to flow into their cardiovascular system, to flow into their central nervous system, to flow, oh God, in every part of them, God, where they need healing tonight. Let there be healing. Let no weapon that is formed against their life be able to prosper. Let no witchcraft that rises against them. Let no witchcraft be able to prosper. Let every wicked tongue that rises against them tonight, let every wicked tongue be silenced. God, even right now in the name of Jesus, I overthrow everything that have lifted up against him right now. I plead the blood of Jesus over every life tonight. I plead the blood over their lives. I plead the blood over their children. I plead the blood over them right now. I command everything that is not like God, <coughs> that is following them. In the name of Jesus, let it be removed. I want all of you that are on this side, I want you to share this on your page tonight. Father, I declare over them victories. I declare over them deliverances. I declare tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, that they will overthrow every enemy. Every enemy of their destiny, every enemy of their purpose, every enemy of their home, that God, they will overthrow every enemy today in the name of Jesus. I pray that every stagnation that is in their life, God, that you remove every stagnation that is in their life. God, those that have been waiting for answers. And that have been delayed, those that have been praying, those that have been fasting, those that have been seeking your face tonight. God, I'm asking that you would answer the seek, answer the question. I'm praying even tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, God, that you will lift off of these, your people, every wicked and every evil burden that is upon their life. I pray over their children even right now, that God, you will touch their children, that wherever their children are right now, God, God that your healing virtue, God, will go to their children, that that deliverance will go to their children. That protection will be over their children. That no weapon that is formed over their children's life. No weapon will be able to prosper, God. God, that you would keep them under the shadow of the Almighty. Keep their children under the divine shadow. And let no wickedness, let no wickedness. Let no wickedness take them, God, even before their time. Lord, you see every plan. Father, you see every plot of the wicked one concerning their family. And so right now, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the blood of the Lamb, I come against every plan against their children right now. God bless you, Sandra. I come against every plan tonight. And I declare that their children are covered. I declare that even right now, that everyone that is watching me under the sound of my voice, that even tonight, that the Lord covers you, even from COVID-19 in the name of Jesus, that he covers you from dangers, seen and unseen. Every seen danger, every unseen danger, let it be dealt with tonight in the name of Jesus. 
God. It's only you that can deal with danger. And so, God, I call upon you to deal with every danger. I call upon you even, God, according to Psalm 91 that declares, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, that he shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Father, bring us all under the shadow of the Almighty. Bring us into divine protection. I call for divine and supernatural protection over our lives today, God. God, as we navigate through this season, as we navigate through all the warfare, God, that we're going through, God, I'm asking God for your divine protection. I'm praying tonight, oh God, that you release your angels, God, on assignment and let them begin to war over our life. Let them war over our prophecy. Let them war over our promise. Let them war over our miracles. Father, the things that we have been believing you for, the things that have been held up, the things that have been in suspended animation. Father, tonight, oh my God, I'm Lord, I'm asking that you would intervene. Tonight, oh God, I'm asking that you would show yourself. Tonight, my God, I'm asking, oh God, that you would release your mighty arm. Let the arm of the Lord be released over us. Let the strength of the Lord be released over us. I pray against every spiritual attack. I pray even right now that you would move over us. I pray, I pray, God, that even tonight that you would revive the spirit of your people. I want everyone, we got 430 people on this side. I want all of you to share this. I'm praying, Lord, that you would revive the spirit of the humble tonight, those that have been waiting. I'm praying for revival, Lord. Begin to revive our soul tonight. Revive our heart and our desire towards you. Revive our desire to seek you. Revive our desire to come after you, God. Many of us have grown cold in the things of the spirit but God I pray right now that you will begin to revive that you will begin to renew that you will begin to restore Lord begin to move over every life move over them right now move right now God I'm asking that you would release the arm of the Lord let the arm of the Lord be released tonight in the name of Jesus the arm of the Lord be released in your situation the arm of the Lord be released in your home. The arm of the Lord be released in your family tonight. The arm of the Lord be released Mando Bosata, with divine provision. Father, begin to provide for your people tonight. God, you see the areas where they need provision, Lord. God, I call out to you. God, many have written in to me. God, many write into me all the time. God, praying for provision, praying for breakthrough, praying for manifestation. And so here I am, God, calling upon you tonight. Here I am, God, calling upon you for provision, calling upon you, oh God, to meet all of their needs, to meet their financial needs, to meet their spiritual needs to meet every need oh God God you are the only God that can meet their needs and so God as they're gathering upon this side, God you know what their needs are you know what their problems are you know what their situations are and so God I'm asking that you move God somebody need healing in their body somebody need to be delivered in their mind there are people that are under spiritual attack they've been attacked over and over and so God I come to you asking in the name of Jesus that you deliver your people from every attack Deliver your people from generational curses and generational bondages. Father, deliver these, your people. Deliver them, oh God, from every witchcraft curse. Deliver them from generational curses. Deliver them from dryness. Deliver them from stagnation. Every stagnation that is in their life. God, remove stagnation from their life. Remove all setback from their life. Remove every evil arm out of their life. Remove everything, oh God, every cap that is over their life today God I pray that you'll begin to remove the wicked caps of the enemy today in the name of Jesus let the supernatural manifest in the life of your people tonight in the name of Jesus father we stand in the need of the supernatural we need you God we need you Lord here we are God we call upon you tonight father at this hour at this late hour we are calling upon you father at this late hour we are reaching out to you and we're asking God for your intervention we're asking for your strength we're asking for your arm we're asking for your wisdom tonight father we realize we can't do nothing without you and so God we turn to you tonight and we turn to you God because there's no other help in any other name we turn to you oh God because our help is not in the name of a man nor in a prophet but our help is in you and so we turn to you tonight God and we turn with all our heart we turn with all our mind we turn with all our soul and we say Lord touch us and we say Lord revive us and we say Lord heal us and we say Lord deliver us Lord deliver us from anything inside of us that is hindering our lives anything around us that is hindering our life any individuals that are in our life anything that is connected to us God that is holding us back tonight in the name of Jesus 
let it be removed from us. I pray, Lord God, I pray for a thorough cleansing according to Psalm 51, that you would have mercy upon us according to the multitude of our tender mercies, that you would blot our transgression, that you would blot out all of our sin. Father, remove sin from us. Remove unrighteousness from us. Remove pride. Remove ego. Remove everything, Lord God. Here we come, God. We come before you tonight. And we are desperate for a change. We're desperate, God. There are people that need healing in their body. And so I stand in the gap, Lord, for those that are sick in their body tonight. I stand in the gap, oh God, because your word declares that by your stripes we were healed. And so tonight, in the name of Jesus, I do battle with every sickness. I do battle with every disease. The Bible declares that whatsoever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. That whatsoever we loose on earth, it will be loose in heaven and so right now in the name of Jesus by the superior power of the blood of the Lamb, I rebuke every sickness I rebuke every disease I rebuke every infirmity I rebuke everything that is attacking your physical body tonight in the name of Jesus I speak to every organ in your body I want those that are coming on on right now I want you to begin to share and invite share this on your page put put this put this in different groups I pray right now for the healing virtue of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ tonight to begin to flow over your body right now I command your body to come into a alignment with the word of the Lord. The Bible declares that by his stripes you were healed. I command every system of your body to be healed. I cast out tonight the spirit of infirmity, demon of infirmity. I cast you out of the bodies of God's people tonight. Let the spirit of infirmity begin to leave right now. Demon of infirmity, leave out of their eyes. Demon of infirmity, leave out of their hearts. Today I cancel in the name of Jesus. I cancel sudden death. I cancel incidents. I cancel accidents. I cancel right now every spell every incantation, every curse everything that is being conjured against you every conjuration of sickness against your body may it fail right now in the name of Jesus may it fail over your life I want those that have been battling in your body I want you to believe the word of the Lord the Lord declares that he sent his word and he healed them and he delivered them from their destructions I want you to know that there is healing in the word of the Lord that he is a still a healer I want you to know that he is still a healer. That no, no matter what you've been suffering with in your body. Some of you have been battling for a long time. Some battling with arthritis. Some of you battling with tumors. Some of you battling with fibroids. Some of you battling with headaches. Some of you battling with aches and pains that hit your body over and over. As you come on begin to share this. I want you to know that his word is still the same. That he is still the same God yesterday and, to, and forevermore. He is the God that raised Lazarus from the dead. He is the God that parted the Red Seas. He is the God that opened the eyes of the blind. He's the God that delivers the lame. He's the God that when there was a man that was in his condition, I believe it was 38 years, he was there waiting for somebody to put him into the pool. He was at the pool of Bethesda for that long waiting. But the Lord said, rise up, tear up your bed and walk. And I want you to stand on that word tonight. I'm going to pray over all of you. The Bible said, they too shall touch as a grain concerning anything in my name. He said that I will do it. I want you to know that God is able to heal. He is able to heal. He is still a healer. And so right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as I lift these people before you right now, Father, I come against every sickness. I come against every disease in the name of Jesus. I don't want you to stop sharing this. I want you to lay your hands upon yourself. The Bible says, and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They will lay hands upon the sick and they will recover. And so tonight in the name of Jesus, those of you having any types of pains in your body, anywhere in your body, I want you to lay hands where you are hurting right now in the name of Jesus. As I pray right now, I want you to tap into the faith of God for divine healing. Mando, I want you also, I'm going to begin to minister to somebody on this side. The more that you share, the more that you invite, the more visible you become. And so I pray right now, as you lay your hands upon yourself, I lay, my, I lay hands upon myself even tonight as a point of contact. And I come into agreement with you. So Father, in the name of Jesus, as we lay hands upon ourselves tonight, we declare your word. The Bible says, and these signs shall follow them that believe. Father, we believe your word. We, de we believe your word declares that by your stripes we were healed. And so tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus. We command healing to begin to flow into every area of our body. We receive our healing by faith. We cast out of ourselves even every demon of infirmity. Arthritis come out. Headaches come out. 
Heart attacks, we rebuke you now. Stroke, we come against stroke. We come against sugar diabetes. We come against low blood count, low white blood cell count. We command immune systems right now to be regulated. We command right now in the name of Jesus, fibromyalgia. We command lupus. We command rheumatoid arthritis. We command all forms of sickness, all forms of disease. We command you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We command you to take your flight to come out of the bodies of God's people. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be healed. In the name, there's somebody right behind your right eye. You've been getting pains behind your right eye. I speak to your eye right now. I command your eye to hear the word of the Lord. I command your eye to be healed. I command eye pain. I command allergies. I command sinus issues. I command throat conditions. I command issues in your breast, issues in, in, in your chest, issues in any part of your body, any joint of your body. I speak to it right now. And I command it in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it to loose the people of God and to let them go now in Jesus mighty name by his stripes by his stripes you are healed I speak that word over every one of you right now by his stripes you are healed I want you to write that out on the live and I want you to come in to agree with me that by his stripes I am healed just put that on the live by his stripes I'm healed I want you to know that there is healing in the name of Jesus there is healing in the stripes the Bible said that he's been given a name that is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord and so your sickness no matter what the name the doctor can give it a name and some of them got weird names no matter what the name is there is a name that is above your sickness and that name is the name of Jesus. And so tonight we tap into the power of that name and I lose healing in that name. I lose deliverance in that name. I lose breakthrough in that name. I lose salvation in that name even now in the name of Jesus by the power of the blood of the lamb. Oh God, I give you praise. I give you glory. I magnify you, God. I bless you. I give you praise for healing right now, for deliverance right now. By his stripes, I declare it tonight. I come into agreement with everyone that is watching me on this line. The word of the Lord declares that by his stripes. I'm going to go into the prophetic in a minute. But I want you to tap into this tonight because I want you to know that he, his body was broken so that your body could be healed. That is, what the, that is what the Lord suffers all about. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And by, the Bible says by his stripes. You were healed, not you are healed, you were healed. So over 2,000 some odd years ago, when his body was being broken, his body was being broken so that your body can be healed. And I want you to know that, there is no condition, no name under heaven that has been given to a condition that cannot be healed. The old saints used to say this. They said, if you can have it, God can heal it. And I've been in a situation where I've been sick in my body, where I felt like I was near unto death. And I found him to be a healer. His word is still the same. His word does not change. He is still a healer. God bless you, Sir Alicia. He is still a healer. He heals. He's able to heal. I want to read a scripture in your hearing because I know I, I want to read a few scriptures on healing tonight. Because I want you to know that he heals. He heals COVID. Many of us were, many of us were attacked by COVID, but we're still standing. Many of you have had all kinds of conditions. Some of you are living with things that other people have died from. But you're still here. You're still here because he is a healer. I'm going to read some, I'm, I'm going to give you some scriptures on healing. Father, I thank you for being a healer. Father, we thank you. Your, your symptoms do not dictate whether you're healed or not. Just because you have the symptom. The fact might be that you may have the symptom. But your faith tells you that you are healed. The fact is you might be hurting in your lower back, but your faith says that I'm healed. The fact might be that when you went to the doctor, the doctor diagnosed you with something that's scary. But your faith says that even though I was diagnosed, I'm healed. Let me give you these scriptures. I want you to take some of these scriptures down. I give you praise. Feels so good because I got my I got my brand new my brand new my brand new laptop right here. Not my laptop, my brand new a computer. Look at y'all. I'm gonna let y'all see it. It's my brand new computer, so I can be sitting here and I can be looking at stuff, doing a whole lot of things. I want to give you a few scriptures on healing tonight. Isaiah 41 and 10. Isaiah 41 and 10. Let us. 
take that one down. Isaiah 4, it says, fear not. Because that's the first thing that attacks us when we get a diagnosis. When we get a diagnosis from the, from the doctor, we start feeling some symptoms in our body. The first thing that grips us is the spirit of fear. We become fearful because of whatever the doctor says. Or we get on the internet and we read, you, we read symptoms and we become fearful. I don't know if you've ever been there before, but I've been there. I want you to go in and share that. But that's the first spirit that grips us is fear. But the word Lord says, God has not given us what the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Fear blocks healing. Fear blocks deliverance. And fear will stop the power of God. So he says to us, for those of you that are battling with sickness, those that are battling with something in your body, those of you that are battling with something in your mind, the first thing the Lord wants you to know is he doesn't want you to fear. He says, fear not. I'm with you. That right there is enough to send me in. Fear not. Not because your mother's with you, not because your father's with you, not because your sister or your brother. He said, fear not. I'm with you. When you go into the doctor's office, when you're, late, when you're up late at night and you're suffering in your body, I've been there. I'm not telling you something that I've heard. I'm telling you what I know. When you've been going through, when you've been, been, been battling in your body for a long time, you get fearful. And you say, God, am I going to die? Or Lord, how long is this going to be? Lord, Lord, you know, Lord, Lord, I don't know what the outcome is going to be. The doctor told me this. The doctor told me that thing. He said, fear not because you're not alone. He said, I'm with you. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. Hear the word of the Lord. I'm with you. Don't be afraid. I'm your God. And look what he said. He said, I will strengthen you. Because when you've been battling in your body or you've been battling with a situation for a very long time, what happens is, Sister Sandra, is that you get weak, you get weary. How many have ever been in a situation where you just got, you just like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of, I'm tired of being sick. I, one, I remember one day I was so sick and I got tired of being sick and I threw myself on the floor and I had all these pills and I threw all these pills on the floor because I was just tired of being sick. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. But he came in at my weakest point when I was at my sickest. He strengthened me. So he says, fear not. I'm with you. Don't be dismayed. I'm your God. And I will strengthen you. Not only will I strengthen you, I will help you. This is powerful right here. He's going to give you strength. He's going to give you help. When you get sick and when you've been going through something for a long time, I don't know if you've ever been, I'm going to put my hand up on this one. When you've been sick, when you've been asking people to do stuff for you, after a while, people get tired of doing things for you when you've been sick for a long time. They get tired of helping you. They just, because to you, uh, to them, you become a burden. And so when you're weak and when you're sick and when you're going through, going through in your body, maybe going through in your mind, sometimes your help leaves you. Your people people walk away from you and leave you when you've been sick for a long time in the beginning people visit you but after a while they stop coming by to visit you if it's seen somebody who's been in the hospital for a very long time when they first get put in the hospital people go and see them but after they've been in the hospital for a very 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 long time then people don't go there as much they leave them but he says i will never leave you nor forsake you he said i'll be with you and he says even right now he said i'm with you right now I'm with you at this dark period. I'm with you when you're going through in your body. I'm with you as you're going through in your marriage. I'm with you. You are not alone. You're not in this situation. Even though you feel alone, you're not alone. Even though you've been suffering in your body, you've been suffering in your marriage, you've been suffering in your finances. He said, I'm with you. I'm your God. He said, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I want to give that to the people of God as a word of encouragement that at your lowest point, at the most difficult point in your life, you are not alone. He's there. He's going to strengthen you. He's going to hold your hand. One of the most comforting things for me was when I was in the hospital. First time I got admitted to the hospital, I had to go to the hospital. I went through a lot. I went through a whole lot. That year was a very hard year for me. A very hard year. 
And I remember when I was in the hospital and as I was in my hospital, in the hospital, and they were telling me that they had to admit me. They had to admit me to the hospital. And my mother was there with me. When you're going through the fact that somebody is there and you know that someone is there, it gives you strength and it gives you encouragement to keep on going. And so he wants me to encourage you tonight to let you know that you're not alone, that he's there and he's holding your hand. One of the things that my mom did for me when I was in, I was at the hospital and, you know, I had gone back there and they had did some type of, they did some head x-ray on me because, you know, I had got some infection in my face and it destroyed, it ate up, literally ate up the, the middle portion of my nose because I had nice fine nose, everything like that, but it ate it up. And I was just going through all of this because I got this bacteria. But when I was going through at that time, I remember her holding my hands and I remember her praying for me and wiping down the hospital bed and stuff like that. When you're going through, he says, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I hold your hand. You're not alone. You feel alone, but you're not alone. In that moment when I felt really alone, when I felt like, Lord, what is this? told me I got to stay overnight in the hospital. I don't want to stay overnight in the hospital. They, 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 put me in a, they put me in an ambulance. I had never been in an ambulance. Well, I've been in an ambulance once when I was a kid, but I ne <clears throat> never for something like this. I had to be in the ambulance. They took, me to some, they took me to a specialist, and it was a very difficult situation. But he held my hand. He did not leave me alone. There was one situation where I was even going, where things got so bad, I was going to, I had to go someplace, and, um, I had to go, I was surrounded by all these people who had cancer and I was going to, I, I, I drove all the way up to uh, Charleston because I was in, I had to go so they can remove this growth that was on me, I had grown. And when they, they cut the growth off, they found out that it was cancerous. It was a cancerous growth that was on the back of my shoulder right here. They cut it off and it was cancerous. And I had to go to the cancer specialist. And I remember when at that point when I was sitting there in, in that hospital, and I felt so alone. And I said to myself, God, what am I doing here? I'm looking around. These people got bald heads. And I say, is this, you know, is this my life right now? Is this, is this what I got to deal with right now? But he says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He said, I'll be with you even onto the ends of the earth. And he stuck with me and he walked with me and he walked me through it. And I'm here to let you know that God will walk you through your situation. He'll walk you through your circumstance. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll be with you even onto the ends of the earth. When people walk away from you, when people talk about you, when you're sick in your body and you feel like giving up, he says, fear not, don't be afraid. Because even in your darkest moments, he's there. You don't feel him all the time, but you gotta know that he's there. He's there and he, and he will hold you. He will sustain you. He will keep you when you get a diagnosis that you don't like. Because everything all the time is not what you want to hear. When you're young and you start going through in your body and you're very young, it is very discouraging to be young, to be going through in your body. But I found him to be a friend. I found him to be someone that will carry you through situations. He will sustain you. He will never leave you alone. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And that is the word of the Lord tonight. I'm going to give you a couple more scriptures. Take this one as well, Jeremiah 30 and 17. Jeremiah 30 and 17. It says this, Jeremiah 30 and 17. It says, but I will restore you to health. This is, this is a message to those who, are, who have been sick in their body. Those who've been going through in their body. Let me tell you something. If it go down to two people just who want to hear this, this teaching today, then prophecy folk can just bounce because I, I got to get this teaching out. He says, but I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Jeremiah 30 and 17. I will restore you to health and heal your wounds. 
That's what the Lord is saying tonight. He's going to strengthen us. He's going to walk with us. He's going to uphold us. He's going to restore us to health. Some of some of it is not for some of you. Some of it is not physical help. Some of it is, is spiritual. Some of you some of you are spiritually sick. And you need God to restore your spiritual health. Some of you, you your, your prayer life has fallen apart. Some of you, your fasting life is, is non-existent. Some of you, your reading the word is non-existent. So you are spiritually sick. Some of you have con been contaminated. You've gone all over the place eating the wrong food. So now you're spiritually poisoned. And now that you're spiritually poisoned, you need God to come in and you need God to heal. I'm going to cut this music down a little bit. Some of you need to be healed in your spirit. Some of you were wounded and because you were wounded, it became infected. And now that you've become infected, you need a supernatural move of God to heal you on the inside. He says, I will restore you to health and I will heal your wounds. I'm going to read one more scripture. As I read one more scripture, I'm going to prophesy. Hear this. I'm coming further down. So I continue to share this. First Peter 2 and 24. First Peter 2 and 24. Let's read that. He's, remember, he's, he's going to restore us to health and he's going to heal our wounds. Our spiritual wounds, our natural wounds. After you've been through a surgery, you need healing. First Peter 2 and 24 says, He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree that he might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. Somebody take that down. First Peter 2 and 24. I'm gonna read one more time before I start ministering. He himself, meaning Christ, bore our sins in his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. Or by his stripes. This is a different version. By his stripes, you are healed. I want you to know, and I emphatic, em, em, emphatically say this to you tonight, that the Lord has come to heal you. The Lord has come to restore your health, your spiritual health. He's come to restore your financial health. He's come to heal some of your wounds. Many of you have been wounded emotionally. Some of you have been wounded by family. Some of you have been wounded by disappointment. You've been wounded that, and the wounds go way back into your past. But he's come tonight to heal and to restore. Because hear this. There's several root causes for sicknesses. One of the root causes for sickness was the fall of man. When Adam and Eve, primarily Adam, when he disobeyed God, he died. Which means his spirit was cut off from God. He did not physically die at the moment. But his spirit died and he lost that connection with God. As a result of it. He moved over into the sin nature. When he moved over into the sin nature, by him moving over into the sin nature, now sin had dominion over him. Not only did sin have dominion over him, but now sickness, sickness could enter in. And so through sin, sickness came in. That was one of the first doorways for, for sickness. It was through sin. Through the fall of Adam, through the fall of man, sickness entered in. That's when men men begin to experience sicknesses and infirmities in their body. Was when uh, when Adam fell, he opened the door for it. So it took Jesus. Hear this: Jesus had to bear our sins in his body in order to remove the curse that brought sickness into mankind. And so the atonement of Jesus or the redemption that Jesus gives us through his shed blood and the sacrifice, it redeems not only our spirit and makes us right with God or restores a communion or the fellowship with God, but it also brings our body back. Our body now has access. Okay, we have access to the throne room to get our bodies healed and to be repaired. And tonight he's going to begin a work of restoration in many of your bodies tonight. Many of your, your body, your spirit, your soul. He comes to restore. And so I want to pray. I want to pray for us because he's already bore our sicknesses in, our, in his body. And he's already bore our sins. And some of us are, are battling also with demons of infirmity. Uh, demons can also bring infirmity. 
demons that enter into the body, they may enter into a bloodline curse or enter in like, like AIDS and STDs. Those are spiritually transmitted through blood covenants. And then there are sicknesses that are inherited that come in through the bloodline. Okay? So tonight I want to pray. And I want to pray for this atonement, the power of this atonement, this mighty atonement. He bore our sins in his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his stripes, we are healed. So I want to pray that. I want to appropriate that. This was not a very long lesson tonight, but I want to give that to you. So let us pray right now. So Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, because we come before you right now, we repent for all of our sins. We ask God that you forgive us and that you wash us in the precious and the holy blood of Jesus Christ. If there's not, if there's one tonight that have not come to Jesus, who have not repented for their sins, this is the perfect opportunity before we pray this healing prayer for you to come to him. Maybe you're backslidden. Maybe you've fallen by the wayside and you don't feel righteous. You don't feel worthy. This is an opportunity right there in the privacy of your home, in your car, wherever to come to him because he is the healer. He has bore, he has bore your sicknesses. He bore your sin. And he wants to come into your heart. He says, the day that you hear my voice, he said, harden not your heart. So if you've not repented of your sins, this is the perfect opportunity to repent. I'm going to pray the prayer of repentance before I pray the prayer of healing because it's important that we repent so that we can be healed. So repeat after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I acknowledge that I am a sinner and that I've sinned against you, that I was born in sin and I was shaped in iniquity. I ask tonight in the name of Jesus that you forgive me for all my sins that you wash me in the precious blood of Jesus. Jesus, I believe that you came and I believe that you died. I believe that you rose again on the third day and that you're seated on the right hand of the Father. I confess you tonight as my Lord and my personal Savior. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. I accept you tonight. Fill me with your spirit. Remove from me every sin. Remove from me all unrighteousness and all impurity. Now for those that prayed that prayer tonight, there were many that prayed that prayer. Some of you have already been prayed that prayer before, but you needed to pray again. So I'm going to pray with you. So Father, in the name of Jesus, as they pray this prayer tonight, Father, I rebuke the enemy that have entered into many of their lives. Satan, the Lord rebuke you tonight. I command Satan and his imps to take his hands off of each and every individual that have prayed that prayer. Tonight, they've confessed Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior. You have no legal right. You have no hold over them. So in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I rebuke your powers. I command you to loose everyone that have prayed that prayer tonight, to let them go in the name of Jesus. And now as children of God, you said in your word that healing is the children's bread. Tonight by faith in the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to say after me, say in the name of Jesus, by faith, I receive divine healing in my body, in my soul, and in my spirit. Tonight, I declare out of my mouth that by his stripes, I am healed. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Now lay hands upon yourself and I want you to begin to release healing into your own body. You're, you're a child of God. I want you to, the Bible says, and these signs shall follow them that believe. They will lay hands upon the sick and they shall recover. What I want you to do right now is I want you to lay hands upon yourself in the name of Jesus. And I want you to begin to release healing into your own body. A lot of times you're waiting for the prophet to do it. Amen. I've already prayed the prayer of faith. I want you to agree with me in prayer. Lay hands upon yourself. Those of you who feel some type of demonic oppression over you, lay your hands upon yourself and rebuke it yourself rebuke sickness you know the name of the sickness you know the issue that you're battling with I want you to lay hands upon yourself tonight and I want you to rebuke it yourself rebuke it yourself lay hands upon yourself father as they lay their hands upon their self even as I lay my hands upon myself we rebuke all sickness rebuke all diseases rebuke all demonic holes and all demonic strongholds we command every power that is not like God we command you in the name of Jesus to loose us and to let us go every demonic stronghold I command you to go the Bible said one shall chase a thousand two will put ten thousand to flight so tonight 
tonight. I command every demonic force. I command you to go into dry places. I plead the blood of Jesus against every altar. I command every altar that is in their life to be broken right now as they repent it for their sins. Satan, loose your hold upon everyone that is listening to me right now. I command your powers to go into dry places. Now go! Go from them right now. Loose them and let them go. Let them go right now. Let them go. I command you to go, Satan. Loose your hand. Loose, loose your hands from them right now. Take your hands off of them right now. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the blood of the Lamb. I want you, I want you to tell the devil to loose you. Tell the devil to loose you. Tell the devil to loose you. Tell him, open your mouth and tell him to loose his hold on you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Satan, we bind your powers. I command you to go into dry places now in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, let it be so in Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you right now. We declare that. I'm going to cut this down a little bit. We declare that. I declare healing on this live right now. I declare supernatural healing all over this live. There's a person right now, the Lord just broke the spirit of anxiety off of somebody that's been watching on this live. The Lord told me to, he said, you've been having from time to time, you have panic attacks. God has just broken that spirit of anxiety off of you right now. I want everyone on this live because I'm going to begin to prophesy to the people that are on this live. I want you to share this on your page. I want you to share this with five other people. I want you to come back to this live. Also, when you send up stars, I can see the stars. I'm going to start ministering as the spirit gives me grace tonight. Father, we thank you right now. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We magnify you on this live right now. Father, be thou glorified on this live. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your hand be released. Let your power be released. Let your glory be released upon these that have gathered. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I see demons of stress that are leaving people on this live tonight. Many of you have been under attack from the demon of stress. God's breaking the demon of stress off of many of you. I command stress to loose you. Also, witchcraft holds. There's some of you that have been, some of you have not seen any forms of progress in your life. And God said, I'm dealing with witchcraft holds. There are witchcraft holds. There's somebody that is watching me that is on this side. The Spirit of God told me, he said that you've been seeing a dark shadow at times. You've been seeing the flashing of a dark shadow. I bind that spirit. It's an evil monitoring spirit that's been monitoring you. God's going to begin to remove that. I bind that by the power of the blood of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, I command you to lose. Linda Espinosa, who just sent me some stars. Linda, I heard the Holy Ghost speak to me and told me to tell you this. He said, this is your time that I'm going to begin to cause you to experience more in my divine presence. You are hungry for the things of the Spirit. And I hear the Lord said, they that hunger and thirst after righteousness. God said that they shall be filled. God said, I'm going to begin to fill you until you overflow. I'm going to fill you. There is an outpour that is coming in your life. A spiritual outpour. Embrace the outpour. Agnes Lane, who was on this live. Agnes this is what I heard the Holy Ghost tell me to tell you. It's funny that, 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 that that's your, your name, Lane, because that's what the Holy Ghost is speaking to me about. The Lord told me, he said, the devil's been trying to derail you. And God said, I'm going to deal with every derailment that's been taking place in your life. And God told me, he said, I'm going to begin to cause you in this season to have the peace of God that you desire. He said, the peace of God that passes all understanding, he said, is coming into your heart, is coming into your mind. I also hear the Spirit of God tell me to tell you this. He said, you can only carry people but so far. The problem is you tried to carry people further than what you should carry people. But God said, it's time to learn how to let go. See, the Spirit of God told me to tell you, he said, fight the good fight of faith. He said, do not give up. God said, you're almost at the point of breakthrough. The Lord said, the enemy wants to close the walls in around you. But God said, I've given you power. He said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. God said, you're fighting he that is from the world. And God told me, he said, continue to declare the word of the Lord. God said, you will be strengthened. So saith the Lord. There's a woman in BC who was watching me on this side. BC, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and told me to tell you. He said, I'm going to move you. He said, a woman in BC that's watching me that's on this side. You, you've been praying to God for some sort of relocation and the hurt the lord has heard your cry concerning relocation and god's going to cause you to be relocated i want those that are on the live to do me this favor i want you where it says share hit the word share it's share, it'll, it'll, it'll show up copy link copy the link and go down my page and begin to post this link down my page just like the spammers who go up and down the page and spam people i want you to go down my page and post the links down there as well as this i want you to know there is no whatsapp where you can reach me if anybody reaches out to you with an inbox message telling you to whatsapp them and all this kind of stuff and 
to send some money to an orphanage or to take up money from an inbox, block them on contact because I don't do that. I don't reach out to anybody. So be very careful that people have used my image to go and do wickedness. So Father, we thank you. There's a person named Geraldine Hall who was watching me upon this live. Geraldine, the Spirit of the Lord told me to tell you this. He said that the best is yet to come. The Lord said, I'm going to open up the eyes of your understanding, so God, so you can understand what the last season of your life was about. The Lord said the last season was not a very uh, not a very easy season. It was a bit of a difficult season, but the Spirit of God told me to tell you, He said, I'm going to begin to shift you in this season. He said, I'm going to begin to give you eyes like an eagle. And God said, there's things that you've not been very discerning about, but God said the gift of discerning of spirits is about to be awakened on the inside of you. There was a person that is on this life, on this right shoulder, been suffering with pain going down this right shoulder in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that pain that goes up and down your right shoulder. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the blood, loose them and let them go tonight. I command that pain to loose them. Go into dry places now. There's a person that is watching me that is on this side. The Lord said, up under your right foot, up under the right foot, up under the arch of the right foot. You've been having pain. The Spirit of God's going to give healing to somebody. I want everyone to share this aggressively. The more you share, the more you in, uh, the more you invite, the more visible you become. I also want you to follow this page and to make sure you like the page. Follow and like so that when I go live, you can be notified. A person up under your right foot, the arch of your foot, you've been having issues and you need God to heal you. God's about to heal you up under your right foot. Receive your healing now in Jesus' mighty, 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 mighty name. That person with that pain in, in the arm, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke that pain that's been coming up and down your arm. By his stripes, I declare that you are healed. Arm, come into alignment with the word of the Lord. Let it be so in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Continue to share this. Mandobo say, Yes, God, do it right now for your people. Do it right now for your people. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Go up and down this live. I just saw a person named Jolene on this live. Jolene. I'm, you need God to move for you very quickly. Uh, Ava, I just opened up the other uh, another live. I want you to open the sewing information there. You've been... You need God to move for you. And I just saw the hand. You've been really praying about direction. That's what you've been really asking God for. Is you've been praying that God should give you direction. The Holy Ghost, somebody, he said direction is about to come your way. He's about to open up the eyes of your understanding. God said you're going to begin to know the way that you must take in this season. One of the things that God's going to do is God's going to take you on a journey of just studying the word of the Lord. Because God said, I got to speak to you out, 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 out of the scriptures. The things that are in the scripture that God wants to reveal to you. And the Holy Ghost told me to, he said, I'm going to begin to put you in that place whereby you will begin to hear my voice so say the spirit of living god and so father we thank you right now that you're doing it right now you're opening up her eyes you're opening up the eyes of her understanding even right now in the name of jesus by the power of the blood let them be open right now in the name of a person named aquanetta who's looking me on the side mando i'm gonna put this over here a person named aquanetta the spirit of god's about to do something for you put this over here the spirit of god's about to do something for you the Lord said, I, heard, I hear the Lord said, transformation is about to come. There's some people that have basically counted you out. There's some people, my daughter, who don't understand what God is really doing with you in this season. But I heard the Holy Ghost tell me, he said, it ain't for them to understand. My daughter, the Lord said, I've been taking you on a journey of transformation. And God told me, he said, I'm about to complete this journey of transformation on the inside of you. And God said, you're going to come into everything that I have for you. Also, the Spirit of the Lord told me to say this. He said that you need financial resource. There's a person named Tyrone Hudson who just sent me some stars. Tyrone, I heard the Holy Ghost told me, he said, you're behind time with your call. The Lord told me, he said, you lost some time because of the decisions that you made early on in life. But God told me, he said, I'm going to begin to redeem the time, redeem the time. I want everyone on this side to share this on your page and find about five people, tag them. The more you share, the more you invite, the more visible you become. So I want you to become visible so that I can be able to see you. Make sure you like and follow the page as well. Father, we thank you right now. I'm looking right now. Father, we give you glory. There's a woman named Tawana that is watching that is on this. I have a person named Tawana that been believing God for a brand new home. A Tawana that is believing God for a home. I heard the Holy Ghost tell Tawana. He said the way is being made out of no way. God is making a way for Tawana out of no way. The way is being made. Tawana, the Lord said, watch what I'm about to do with you. These next few months, Tawana, you're going to see the hand of God revealed in your life. Mandaba. Somebody said, it's me. I humbly ask. Hold on, I just saw somebody want prayer. How many that you see me? I'm the one that has anxiety attacks. Please pray. Lay your hands upon your head right now. 
lay your hands upon your head right now. That person who's been under that in, in anxiety attacks, God bless you, Emmanuel. The Lord do a new thing in you. Emmanuel, um, that woman who's been who's been having those anxiety attacks. I want you to lay your hands upon your head right now. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the blood of the Lamb, I come against every anxiety attack right now. I command anxiety to loose you and to let you go. Anxiety, go into the dry places right now in Jesus' mighty name. There's a person right now that is watching this on this side. The Lord said, up on, on, on your right elbow, you've been having pain. God's giving you healing right now. Those that are on the live, share this, invite. Make sure you share this. Katie Johnson, who was watching me upon this live, Katie Johnson, the Spirit of God told me to this. He said there's some people that he's going to begin to shut out of your life. And God said, when I shut the door, the Lord said, don't gotta go, go back to try to reopen the door. Because God said, they are the ones that have been blocking you from moving into your next season. And God said, I got to move them out. Mando Boshiki, da, 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 da. Gary Copes, the Spirit of God, he said, provision is at your door. It's for Gary Copes. He said, provision, supernatural provision is at your gate. Not only that, but the Lord told me to, he said, I'm going to begin to take you deeper into the word of the Lord. God said, I'm going to begin to open up your understanding of the scripture. And God said, you can begin to teach at another dimension. Because God told me to, he said, there are many young men that need to hear the word of the Lord. And the Lord said, I'm going to use your training. I'm going to use your back. Ground. And he said, I'm going to use the training that I brought you through. And God said, I'm going to call you, you to begin to speak to the lives of others. And God said, it will be regimented. I also hear the Lord Timothy. He said, the gift of healing is on the inside of you. And God said, I want to bring forth that gift even more. So say the Spirit of God. God also told me, he said, pray over your seed. My, there's one particular seed that you have to really pray over that God should get a hold of that one. So, Father, I thank you. Those that are on the line, continue to share this. I'm just moving up and down as the Spirit give me grace. There's a woman that is on the line by, by the name of Whitney Latrice. Whitney Latrice, the Spirit of God told me to this. He said, here it is. He said, from a little girl, he said, you've always been intelligent. You've always been witty. But the Lord said, what the enemy has sought to do, and he sought to just link you at different seasons of your life to people who really were jealous of you, who did not have good intentions towards you, who really just wanted you to fail. And the Lord said, they, pro they released a lot of projections against you to block you. But God said, I'm dealing with projections. Not only is God dealing with projections in your life, but the Spirit of the Lord told me to tell you, he said, I'm going to also in this season begin to cause what has been stolen from you from the last seven years of your life. He said, I'm going to restore that. I speak over people that are on this line, that the enemy has systematically robbed you. The, the enemy has systematically taken things away from you. Opportunity, stolen opportunities, stolen doors in the name of Jesus, that the Lord himself right now will begin in the name of Jesus to restore opportunity. The God of opportunity is about to rise. I want you to write that on the line. I receive my opportunity. I receive that. I receive, put that out. I want you to share this. I just saw a woman named Jay Jay just said something to me. I saw a woman named Jay who just said something. Jay, let me tell you what the Holy Ghost told me to tell you. The Holy Ghost told me to tell you this. Oh, my shit, come on, God, I'm not going to go. If you trust God before this year is out, there's a new thing that God's going to do. I don't know God wants you to do better than what you need to do. There was a scene in the church where there was a stronger walk in the world, where you walk much more closer to you than where you are walking right now. And I don't know the Holy Ghost says, God, we have to that. He says, God, we have to that. Calling you back to that, I'm calling you back to that. I'm a person named Emmanuel. Emmanuel, which is like, oh, I just saw your name just now. Oh, Emmanuel, my God, shit, your name is. I don't know. There's a person up in the center of their back. I just felt a sharp pain in the center of my back. It's not at the lower portion, but it's up in the center. You're having a pain in that feeling. God is going to give you healing in the center of your back. I speak that right now in the name of Jesus. Emmanuel, I hear the Lord tell me to tell Emmanuel watching me on this side. The Lord said that your labor has not been in vain. I saw two companies coming out of you. Two companies. God's going to open the door for two companies. Receive that now in the name of Jesus. By the power of the blood of the Lamb. God is doing it right now. So, Father, we thank you. Can you hear it right now? So, Father, we thank you and I we give you the glory. We give you the honor right now in the name of Jesus. Mando, can y'all hear me now? This is a lot of static. Okay, so Father, we thank you right now. Those that are on the live, continue to share this. Father, we give you praise and we give you glory for the doors. We give you praise for the doors that are open. Here, there's, there's a woman named Priscilla that is watching me that is on the live. Priscilla, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and told me to tell you this. He said that, he said witchcraft attacks. You've been experiencing some subtle witchcraft attacks. God's going to deal with, with somebody who's been practicing witchcraft on you secretly. There's been some attacks of witchcraft. Every witchcraft attack, every subtle witchcraft witchcraft attack that's been working against you let it be shut down now by the power of the blood of the lamb in the name of jesus let it be so somebody said the live is very staticky the devil is a liar 
Is it better? Okay. So come on, somebody, somebody continue to share this. Mando Boshiti The devil, when I tell you when this line starts getting strong, that's when the devil starts getting crazy. So Father, we bless you. We give you glory. I don't know. There's somebody who's been battling on their right side with a pain on their right side. On their right side. Right here on your right side. You've been having pain on your right side. Lay your hands right there in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, lay your hands. Belinda McKissick, the Holy Ghost told me to say, I'm going to surprise you. There was some type of breakthrough that is coming. God said, I'm going to prepare a table before you. It's for Belinda McKissick. I'm going to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy. God told me to say, you got enemies, but God told me, he said, I'm going to bless you in their presence. What God does for you, God said, I won't do it behind closed doors. He said, I'm going to do it so they can see it. I don't know what I just, I just saw a house before my eyes. See, they think you blessed, but God said, they haven't seen anything yet. The blessing of the Lord is that, that's going to come on you. The Lord told me, he said, it's going to be an embarrassing dimension of blessing. Because God said, he said, when I put this blessing upon you, the Lord said, those that have been watching, he said, those that have been seeing, the Lord said, they're going to stand in awe at what I'm doing in your life. So say the spirit of the living God. There's somebody that is watching me that is on this side. The Spirit of God told me to tell you this. He said, you need to anoint. You need to anoint your doorposts. You need to anoint your doorposts. Anoint your doorposts. There is something that I see, a monitoring spirit, trying to enter into your house. But it's trying to enter into the front door. Trying to enter into your front door. The Holy Ghost just told me, he said, anoint your front door. As a matter of fact, I want everybody that is watching me on this live to hear the word of the Lord. I want everybody that can go to your front door. If, if you're close to your front door, lay your hands upon your front door right now. If you got anointing oil, run to the door and get some anointing oil. I cover every household right now in the name of Jesus. As you lay hands upon that door right now, cover that door. Strength. I heard the Lord say for Joanne, or he said strength is your portion. I heard God. God's going to give you strength. He's going to strengthen you. I saw him undergirding you. Mando, he said, I will, I will make a way for you out of no way. The Lord said, this has been a difficult season. But the Lord said, I am not a man that I should lie to the son of man that I should repent. The Lord told me to, he said, for years you've been waiting for the manifestation of the father. And the Lord said, the enemy has fought manifestation over your life. But God told me to, he said, I'm going to bless you in spite of, in spite of. In spite of, I receive that for myself. Somebody write that out. Sometimes when God's prophesying to somebody, I jump in and I tap in. Somebody write that out in spite of. That is the blessing that is coming in spite of, the in spite of blessing. Somebody said, prayers that I walk in my calling, I loose you into your calling in spite of. Just write that out in spite of. Because yeah, that's what the Holy Ghost is going to do. He's going to bless you in spite of. Write that out right now. Write that out in spite of. In spite of the warfare, in spite of the challenge, in spite of everything that the enemy has been shooting your way. In spite of God's going to reward you, God's going to bless you, God's going to raise you up in spite of. Michael, the, let me tell you, Michael, there's a young man named Michael just sent up. A, you don't know the grace that rests upon your life. You're going to move in the days to come in a strong healing anointing, a healing anointing. That is what God's going to move you into. And a strong evangelistic and healing anointing. You're going to be drawn not only to the prophetic ministry, but God said it's going to be a mixture of the prophetic and healing. You're going to move in both veins. In spite, I, I hear that in the Holy Ghost. That is the blessing that the Lord is going to release upon many of you. God's going to bless you in spite of, in spite of the lies, in spite of the attacks, in spite of the witchcraft. Because there's several of you who've been being, being attacked. But God told me to, he said, I'm going to lift you up in spite of, I'm going to hit this. I'm going to elevate you in, in spite of what they said about you. Let me tell you what the Holy Ghost said. Somebody said, I'm having chest pains that hurt right now. In the name of Jesus, this woman who had laid your hands upon your chest. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command that chest pain to loose you right now in the name of Jesus. Loose her and let her go. I speak healing over her chest. Everybody, we command that thing to loose her and to let her go. So, Father, right now, I loose upon your people right now that in spite of blessing, in spite of the notification that you got from the doctor, in spite of what it is, in spite of all the gossip that they've been releasing against you, Mando, in spite of the, 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 the lack of money that you have. 
Abraham in your bank account in spite of Raman Dorodoboko Shatabasa. God's going to bless you in spite of, in spite of the fact that they were unfair to you on that job. I hear the Lord tell me to tell you, he said, all of it is a setup because God said the same people that talked about you. He said the same people that fought you. The Lord said, I'm using their hand to elevate you. The same people who put their hand against you. That is the same hand that God's going to use to lift to the next level. So God had to use their hand against you. When they strike out against you, what they did not realize was that they were lifting you up to the next dimension. They thought that they were tearing you down. They thought that they were blocking you. They thought that the lie would stop you. They thought that the witchcraft would stop you. They thought that the jealousy was enough to hold you back. But I hear the Lord said, in spite of everything that you've gone through, in the name of Jesus, he's going to lift you up. It's the in spite of blessing. I feel when I say, I feel that thing way down in my Holy Ghost. God's going to bless you in spite of. Look at your bank account and say, in spite of, in spite of what's in your bank account, God's going to bless you. In spite of what your credit report is saying, he's going to bless you. In spite of what they're doing on the job, he's going to bless you. God, I receive it right now. In spite of, in spite of what they're saying about you in your city, in spite of how they've conspired against you. There are people that have come confederate against you. That they don't even like each other, but they have joined up against you to try to tear you down. But the Holy Ghost said, I'm going to bless you in spite of, in spite of it. And people are going to be looking around. They're going to be standing around after all the lies been told, after all the things that have been done, all the witchcraft that they put down to kill you, after all the things that they did. Let me tell you, there's a woman on this live. You, 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 you ate somewhere. You ate somewhere. And you got sick there. What you did not even know was that they put witchcraft in the food. And hear this. And the witchcraft was putting the, the food to take you out. But God said he couldn't take you out because God said you belong to me. In spite of. In spite of the witchcraft. In spite of everything. Father, I declare that tonight on this live. That the in spite of blessing overtakes your people. That in spite of where they are right now in their life. In spite of in spite of how they feel about themselves, in spite of their past, in spite of their mistakes, you will bless them in spite of, in the name of Jesus. And let me tell you something, this blessing that's going to come upon you is going to be such a wonderful blessing. It's going to be such an amazing blessing until those same folk manda who laughed at you. God, hear this. Those same folk who laugh at you are going to have to turn around and they're going to hold their mouth in amazement at the level of blessing that's coming. Because he said, I'm going to bless you in spite, of, in spite of all those people who do you dirty. And when they do you dirty, they will turn around and they will laugh about it and they'll go to other people. But I heard the Holy Ghost said, in spite of, in spite of, in spite of what they did, in spite of how they did it, in spite of how they lied, in spite of it, I'm going to bless you. And so tonight... I release mandorobo In spite of and this somebody whose inheritance was stolen from you. They, they 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 took something from you, something that you were supposed to inherit. You didn't get to inherit. But God said, I'm gonna bless you in spite of. God don't need an inheritance to bless you. God can bless you outside of your inheritance. Most of us didn't, most of us ain't inherit nothing anyway but a legacy of trouble. But in spite of your background, in spite of the fact that they took things from you, some of you walk away from walked away from things. And you made sacrifices. But God told me this. He said, I'm going to bless you in spite of. Father, I thank you. The same people who did you dirty. Same people who did you dirty. They're going to be, they're going to be crying because of the level of blessing that's coming your way in spite of. God has turned my captivity. Some of the same people, hear me. Some of the same people who talked about me. God used me to be a blessing. In spite of what they stole, in spite of what they took, in spite of how they lied, he's going to bless you in spite of, in spite of, in spite of. And I feel that thing in the Holy Ghost. This is the anointing that is on this live tonight, that in spite of it all, the Lord is going to bless you. In spite of it all, he's going to lift you up. Well, God, I made mistakes in spite of, I'm still going to use you. Well, Lord, well, Lord, they did this to me on the job and God, they got me for in spite of, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to lift you up. So, Father, I thank you right. Hear what the Lord just put in my heart. Everyone who's believing God for this blessing, who believe the prophet tonight, that God's going to bless you in spite of I want you to put a sacrificial seed on this line. My, some of you are going to put a seed on this line for $32. It's a sacrificial seed for some. You're going to put it on this line, and you're declaring tonight 
in spite of, in spite of it all, in spite of the house that I'm living in, God's going to give me a better one. In spite of the fact that I can barely pay the bill on this, God going to give me a bigger one. In spite of the fact that I don't even hear this. Some of you ain't even, some of you ain't got no papers. Some of you ain't got this. Some of you ain't got the papers to be working on the job that you're working on. But God said, I blessed you in spite of. God's going to give some positions to some people who not even qualified. He just going to do it in spite of, and not just only in spite of uh, uh, Apostle Jessica. He going to do it despite some people too, to make them mad. In spite of, and he gonna spite some folks at the same time. A person named Sarah Blake just dropped a seed of ground of thirty thirty two dollars on, on on the ground. Let me tell you what the Holy Ghost told me. To, he said, when you put that seed on the ground, the Lord told me. To, he said, you stirred up a wasness in the spirit. You don't even realize what you did. You put that seed of thirty. I literally saw like a wasness get stirred up. They gonna get angry at you because the Lord told me. To, he said, the blessing of the Lord that maketh one rich is gonna hit us. Gonna begin to settle on you. God, let me tell you. The, the, the people, the, the level of blessing that's coming upon some of you, the people, you hear this, people that you didn't even know was jealous going to start coming out of the woodworks because of the next level of blessing going to drive out the secret jealousy. There's some people who you don't even know. That, that you don't even know that are jealous of you. But this blessing is going to be such a, at a magnitude until their secret jealousies, they can no longer hide it. And God's going to expose to you your enemies through the next blessing that is coming over your life. The blessing is going to be so tremendous until they cannot contain their, that they won't be able to contain their jealousy. There's some people going to the ground right now. Sister Alicia, just she's putting her seat at 30. The Lord told me to tell you this. He said, watch me. He said, I'm going to settle the matter. I'm going to settle the matter. He said, hear what the Lord said. The Lord said, in spite of all your limitations, the Lord said, your life is already blessed. But God said, I'm going to take you to another place of blessedness. Bless, you're going from the place of, from the blessed place to the place of blessedness. So, Father, we thank you're going from being blessed to moving into blessedness. So, Father, we thank you. A person named Cheryl Pittman White just put a seed of 32 upon the ground. There's a person going to put a seed of 64. And God told me to tell you, he said, here, he said, a quick harvest. Yes, those who don't have a seed, I want you to share this right now. Those, those that are sowing their seed tonight, a person named Andrea Hines just dropped a seed upon the ground. Andrea, in the name of Jesus, the Lord told me to tell you, he said, I'm casting lack away from your house. The demon of, let me tell you, lack is a demon. As soon as you get money, money taken away from you. Lack is a demon. He's removing lack from you even right now. A person named Mateen just dropped a seed upon the ground. Mateen, who dropped a seed in the ground. The Lord told me to tell you this. He said that he said there's a wall that's been blocking you, but God said the wall's coming down. Father, we thank you. A person named Latarja just dropped a seed. Let me tell you, if I was you, I would go to the ground and I would declare, look, I declare this tonight, that God's blessing me in spite of, that this is in spite of blessing, in spite of. There's a person named Dwayne Smith that just sent up a seed just now. Dwayne, the spirit of the living God, told me to tell you this. He said, you've been called for a long time. God said, be busy about my business. And God said to tell you, he said, when you start being busy about my business, God said, I'm going to handle your business. Stephanie Davis, who dropped a seed of 32 upon the ground. Stephanie, the spirit of the Lord spoke to me and told me to tell you, he said, you're about the, you're at, at a point of massive breakthrough in your family. The Lord told me, he said, there's a wall that's going to break, a wall of stubbornness in your family that is coming down. For those of you who want to go and sow your seed, the cash up is profit better. You can also go to propheticflow.org and sow your seed. There are people that are sowing and that are declaring to the, you know what I'm sowing? I'm going to sow a seed tonight and I'm declaring that in spite of everything, every family limitation, that God's going to give me a massive break through a massive financial breakthrough lord do it for me in spite of do it for me in spite of do it for me in spite of in spite of do it right now in the name of jesus there's some more people going to the ground there's a woman that just put a seed in the ground the lord told me to tell you, he said you're believing him for the fruit of the womb god said the fruit of the womb is going to be blessed. in spite of what the doctors say about your age and the fact that oh you shouldn't have no baby in spite of god's going to bless you with seed in spite of let me tell you something. When God want to bless you, God don't consult physician. He don't consult your mama, your daddy, your sister. But he blesses. A person named Maddie. A person named Maddie. 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 Maddie is about to receive the blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow comes upon the head of Maddie. There's a person. Your maiden name is Jones. Your maiden. You got married. There's a person. Your maiden name is Jones. Your maiden name is Jones. God just moves on a person who was born a Jones. The Holy Ghost told me that he said the breakthrough was coming to your house. A person, your maiden name was Jones. A Patricia doorboard just dropped a seed of 25 in the ground. Patricia who just dropped a seed upon the ground. The Lord told me to he said it's a seed that's going to speak against the altars of witchcraft that's been speaking from your father's house. There's an altar of witchcraft that's speaking of your father's house and God said, I'm tearing it down. Gary Johnson who just dropped a seed upon the ground. Gary Johnson, I don't know, I see the mark of God upon your head. 
you, you, have a, you have a call of God on you. And the Lord told me today, he said, I'm going to begin to stir up the pot. I see God stirring the pot to get you hot. Casino Chambers just dropped a seed in the ground. I like that one, Holy Ghost, stirring up the pot to get you hot. I'm, when I'm in the spirit, I love how God talked to me. Casina Chambers, who just dropped a seed upon the ground. Casina, the spirit of God told me to tell this. He said, hear this. Mando bo He said, God said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make, make you more sensitive to the spirit world. And, but when you get become sensitive to the spirit world, you become sensitive to the good and you become sensitive to the bad. The giver of the zoning of spirits is going to begin to awaken on the inside of you. And you're going to be sensitive to the presence of evil spirits. To the presence of evil spirits. I cover you right now. Gary Johnson, I want you to go and get, grab a, a glass of water and I want you to bless it. And it's for your blood system. Ava is sowing a seed of 32 in the ground. There are many that are going to the ground. I want you to go to the ground and declare tonight that in spite of, he's blessing me. In spite of the limitation. In spite of the lie. In spite of the curse. In spite of the fact that I don't even got the certification. I don't got the papers. But in spite of, he's doing it for me. Father, let it be so. Ava, let the Lord lift you up. The Lord told me these when the time is right. He said, favor going to speak for you. When, when the time is right, favor going to speak for you and favor will speak well for you in the name of Jesus. So the catch up is profit B. I think the information is placed down. I think Ava got the information down. It's posted. A person named Kayan who just sold a seat of $30. Kayan who just sold his. There's somebody, Kayan, let me tell you what the Holy Ghost said. The Lord is going to expose somebody. There's somebody you need to see. God going to put the mask. I saw them with a Halloween mask on. And I saw you. You know that mask that looked like My Michael Myers? In the spirit, I just saw somebody with a mask like that. My double shake it, baby. See here. I saw that thing. The Lord gave me a revelation about Michael Myers. And I know we don't watch no scary movies, but I watched that movie when I was a kid. And that Michael Myers represented a spirit that was coming after all his family. Okay? That he came out. He only killed his family members. And if you got in the way of him coming after his family members, he then he come after you. So Michael Myers represented the generational curse. And I saw that spirit one time in a dream. In like a generational curse. My God, I come against that right now. Come against all of it. May the powers of darkness be broken in Jesus' mighty, 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 mighty name. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Those that are sowing, there's some people that cannot sow a seed of 32. You're going to sow a seed of $12 tonight. There's, there's about 45 people that's going to sow a seed of 12. Let me tell you, 45 of you are going to sow a seed of 12 in the ground tonight. But let me tell you what the Holy Ghost said. He said, the number, the, you're going to hear this. 12 is, is an apostolic number of government. Okay, of government. That's the number of government. It's 12 that represents government. There's, there's 45 people going to go to the ground. You're going to sow a seed. And one of you already going to sow the seed of 32, but you're going to sow the seed of 12 as well. You're going to go in the ground. You're going to put the seed in the ground for 12 for government. It speaks of government. It speaks of order. God, let me tell you what God's going to do. There's some of you going to drop that seed in the ground. The Lord told me said there's some, some positions of authority that God said, I'm going to begin to put you in. God's going to begin to make many of you gatekeepers. There's somebody that is going to put a seed of $12 on the ground. The Lord told me he said, you're already in your family. He said, you're already like a, a, a gatekeeper in the family. But God said, I'm going to begin to lift you up. God said, I'm going to put greater influence in your hand. And God said, you're going to be the one to get the greatest inheritance. Father, let it be so. Let it be so in Jesus' mighty, 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 in spite of Tap into it. Tap into it. There are many people that are going to the ground that are sowing the 12. A person named Lexus just sold her seed of $12 in the ground. You put that seed of $12 in the ground, but the Holy Ghost told me to, he said, what you just did right now, the Lord told me to, he said, you stirred the hand of God to move over your life. God said, I'm going to bring order out of chaos because God said, there's been some chaos in your family, but God said, I'm going to begin to bring unity in the family. I see a young woman in your family that is outside the will of God that is bound by some type of, uh, some sexual spirit, but God's going to give a breakthrough. A person named Maxine and, uh, who just dropped her seed in the ground. Maxine, you know what? It's funny because that's what the Holy Ghost just showed me your name. And he took the, that word M-A-X and he said, that's what I'm about to do with Maxine. He said, I'm going to maximize the blessing that I'm going to release over Maxine. God's going to maximize. And you know what? The Lord said this speaks of enlargement and expansion. And the Holy Ghost told me to you, he said, you need, uh, you need to seek him more. You need to stretch out more and seek him more because God said, there are things that I got to do on the inside of you. A person named Shannon just dropped the seed of $2. Shannon, I cover you and your grandchildren right now in the name of a person named Pretty Nia just sent us some stars. Pretty and pretty. Let me tell you what the Holy Ghost just told me to tell you. The Holy Ghost told me to tell you this. He said, don't let nobody deceive you with vain words. I saw somebody coming with vain words, mouth full of sweetness, but a heart full of wickedness. Be very careful. The mouth sweet, but the heart is wicked. Be very careful of what they're going to try to do and how they're going to try to do it. I cut it off from you in the name of Jesus. I don't know. There's somebody, an October blessing is coming somebody's way. In October, I just saw the word approved in October. The word approved. Somebody going to get approved for something in October. There's some type of, the cash app tag, I think it's pinned to the bottom. It's, it's, it's profit B. Let me tell you something. 
somebody's going to get an approval. Something you applied for, something you've been waiting on. Another person that is watching me, that is on this live, you've been waiting for, hear this, you've been waiting for your papers. For your, my daughter, you've been waiting for your papers. I just saw an envelope. I just saw an envelope. And the envelope arrived to a person's house. You live in a city. I just saw an envelope. Now, what I mean by a city, you, you don't live in no country, country place. You live in a city. I just saw an envelope. It's addressed to the United States. It's from the United It's like an official letter. Mandova, it's like from the, it's like the immigration services or something. It's an official letter that somebody's going to receive. It's a government letter. You're waiting, you're waiting for a, 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 a correspondence from them. It's going to come by letter. The reason why things have been held up, because there's one little piece of information that is missing, that is missing. That's why your papers have been held up, because one little piece of information, God's going to release it. Father, those that are believing you to travel, those that are believing for visa, those that are believing for residency, I want you to type out, for those of you who need residency, I just want you to type out residency, a visa, whatever that you want to travel. I, want, I just want you to type out, I receive. Don't nobody got to know what it is, whether it's residency, whether it's visa, or whether it's travel. Type out, I receive. I receive. Type it out, I receive. I receive. There's a disability settlement. God just showed me a disability settlement that is coming. There's some more people that are sowing their seeds in the ground. A woman named Cindy Jones just put a seed in the ground. Cindy, the Holy Ghost told me to tell you, he said, I'm covering your health. There's some more people dropping their seed. Father, bless them right now. The Lord, let my October blessing be massive in Jesus' name. A person named Jenny just sold for a new house and a new car. Father, let it be so in the name of Jesus. Let it come forth by the power of the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. A person named Princess Nabo just, there's somebody who really wants to travel. I just saw the doorway of travel. Princess Nabo, I command the breakthrough right now. I just saw somebody, in the name of Jesus, please pray for my for my son, uh, Gregory Israel, to, to get his date back for his citizenship. Father, let the door come open right now, in the name of Jesus. Father, I lose visas. I lose travel documents for those who will do it righteously, in the name of Jesus. I command the doorway to begin to open for them right now, in the name of Jesus. Father, let the door open right now. I command papers to come forth. In the name of Jesus. I saw somebody get approved just now in the spirit. Somebody going to get an asylum approval. You're about to receive approval for asylum. You, 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 you ask for asylum. You can write me later in my inbox. Amen. You don't got If you don't want everybody to know your status, but I just saw in the spirit and you put in, you put in for asylum and God's going to give you your, you God's going to give you a permanent residency based on your, uh, an asylum claim. I just saw it. God's going to give it to you. Father, let it be so. In the name, there will be an approval for an asylum claim. I declare that right now in the name of Jesus, by the power of the blood of the lamb. Father, let it be so in spite of this. Some people sowing their seed. A woman named Audrey Robinson just put a seed in the ground. Father, remember Audrey right now in the name of Jesus. Father, let there be a release over all of your people that are watching me, that are on this live. There's several of you that's going to put another seed in the ground of $12. I saw a woman putting a seed of Twelve dollars in the ground, and you need you need an approval for an apartment. But the Holy Ghost told me that He said the apartment is just a stepping stone to the house that I have for you. You believe in God to move out of the area because the people on top of you make a lot of noise. You live in an apartment complex and you want to move into a different a different place. And the Holy Ghost going uh, you gonna, the Holy Ghost going to approve you moving somewhere, but it's going to be a transitional place because the people upstairs you're having an issue with the people upstairs, and God's going to give you deliverance from them demons upstairs that be running and cussing and carrying on upstairs. You ask God to make a way. God's going to make a way in the name of Jesus. Father, let it be so. Brenda Marshall said for her son, Social Security, Father, let it be so in the name of Jesus. Lord, approval for apartments. Father, I stand in the gap for those. In the name of Jesus, let it be so. Wipe out everything that would hinder your people from receiving the blessing of the Lord in Jesus' mighty, 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 mighty name. I see the anointing for approval. Approval is coming. Sandra Angora just saw the seed of 12. Father, let that let the door be open for Sandra, the Spirit of God told me to he said, Go in your front door. And he said, open the door and command it to come. Praying for approval for this rental assistance. Father, let it come forth right now in the name of Jesus. This rental assistance, God, God, I pray. 
Mm. Every blockage that will try to stop that rental uh, approval, Father, from coming forth, let it come forth right now in the name of Jesus by the power of the blood. Let me tell you something. I really try to get to as many people as I can before I get tired. I've been doing this now for like four years, so sometime when I get tired, now where, where I am, I try to not overdo myself because years ago on the floor, I would go for three and four hours and be very, 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 very weary. So I, I'm trying to get to as many people as I can. So when I encourage you to share and to like and to make sure you follow the page, the reason why I tell you to do that is, is because of the simple casino just put a dollar. Father, because she said, pray over her or her olive oil. Grab your oil, daughter. Cassina, if you're watching me, grab your oil. Father, bless Cassina's oil right now. I command the anointing right now to come upon that oil. Bless that oil supernaturally in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the grace of God be upon that oil in Jesus' mighty, 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 mighty name. And Father, we give you praise in the name of Jesus. Let it be so. I will, everything about, I will sow as soon as I can. I still, in spite of, I release the blessing upon all those who have nothing to sow. You do have something to sow. You can share this. Go ahead and share this. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Now, I'm going to go into my little supporters group for a few minutes, and we're going to have a conversation over there in a the supporters group. I've moved the revival. The, God bless you, Dr. Jeffries. I've, I've moved the revival to November the 4th through the 7th. I just felt the meeting leading to move out to give the people. The flyer will be out. The guy's supposed to be done Saturday, so I'll get the flyer out. So I'll give you details about the, the, the revival that is coming up November 4th through 7th. So please take the dates down, November 4th through 7th. So you got time. You got all of October to get yourself together to come down. It's a called revival. What is a called revival? It's when the sons and daughters are being called from afar to come together because God has something to say. It's like almost a convocation, almost like it's a gathering in. It's going to be a time that we're going to come together and God's going to speak to us. So I want you to be there. I'm going to be in consecration. That's going to be my consecration month. Amen. Because that's actually my birthday month, the month of November. So the fourth through the seventh. All right. This is alive, alive. So Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. Nobody, don't, nobody, nobody ain't paying for no, we don't pay for any prophecy over here. At all, not at all. We don't pay for prophecy. We prophesy to those who the Lord lets us prophesy to. Amen. And if people, somebody gave a seed and they got a prophetic word, it's because God wanted them to have a seed. Where was you when I was prophesying to people on this live and nobody gave a dime? Okay. So people who give receive a prophecy, people who don't receive prophecy, amen, who don't give still receive a prophecy. We don't play that game because there's nothing that can be bought. Amen. The thing, the gifts of the spirit cannot be bought. Amen. So let's just straighten that out right fast. Amen. And I, and I just feel so, honestly, after four years of this, it kind of does get tired. So I'm trying to explain the same thing over and over. And I know we got new people who come on, amen, to this. So I have to take my time to explain. But after four years, I'm telling you, my patience is really not really, really long with that. Amen. And my patience is not long. If you don't understand it, amen, this is the offering. And I'm ministering over the offering as the Lord gives me grace to minister over the offering. And this is going to be the last explanation for a long time. Because if I explain too long, amen, then I'm going to go far with this. And I'm going to start popping heads and um, pressing blocks and all that kind of stuff and banning you. Amen. Because I ain't got the patience for it. Amen. So November 4th through 7th, amen, I want you to get here by his grace. If you can get here the 4th through the 7th, we will really appreciate you to be in this revival. It's a call revival. Amen. And we're calling the sons and the daughters to come. And I want to see my sons and daughters come from afar. Okay. We want, we just want them to come from afar. Amen. Those who can make it down the fourth through the seventh, the fourth through the seventh, I'm going to put the flyer out next week. I will be actually in uh what's the place called? I'll be in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I have not been taking a lot of revivals. Okay. I've, I've not been taking a lot of revivals. I have not. All right. Not been taking a lot of revivals because of no COVID and because I just, you know, I feel like I can still minister right here online. So I've been taking a lot of revivals, but I'll be in Oklahoma next week. I'll be there the, the 24th through the 26th. I'll be there for a couple of nights. Amen. I'm not going to be there the 18th through 19th. That's the, the flyer that somebody else will be ministering. So please, I mean, unless you want to go there to that. Amen. If you go there, go to the 24th to the 26th. That's when I will be, you know, I'll be there September 24th to 26th. But November 4th through 7th, I am looking. There's some people that I'm looking for to be in their place. If you're not in the place, I'm going to be upset because I don't see your place. Amen. So please, if you can get here, God bless those of you. If it's if you're our first timer, we're gonna say we're gonna do like we do in church. If this is your first time, I want you to type on the live that this is my first time. Amen. If this is your first time being on this platform, I want to bless a few people who've been on here and it's their first time coming on. God bless those who are coming on and it's your first time. Father, touch your people, deliver your people right now in Jesus' name. Heal everybody. If you're 
What's the address? I'm going to put the information up. It's going to be in South Carolina. It's going to be beautiful South Carolina. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be another Holy Ghost explosion. God's going to have his way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put up the information. When I get the, when the guy's done with the flyer, just check my page. Make sure you like and follow the page. And I want to say this by way of announcement. Please, saints of the most high God, please know that I don't write you in your inboxes. I don't actually for money on inboxes. The opening, the offering is open and it's usually some small C, 12, 30, whatever the Lord gives me. Amen. I will not come into, hey, God bless you, Raymond Taylor. I don't come into inboxes. I don't write people. And another thing that I don't do, God bless you, Renara. It's your first time. God bless you, Renara Hampton. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. The favor of God is going to come upon your life because God said things have been very difficult, but God said, I'm going to give you a financial breakthrough. Mary Morris is my first time. God bless you, Mary Moore. Make sure you look. Daphne, Keisha Robertson, Daphne, is, we got some first timers. Welcome to the flow. God bless you. Amen. So Pretty Brown McNeil, God bless you. God bless you, Sandra Fields. As a matter of fact, where are y'all from? Shout us out. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, LeVar Williams. God bless you, Carolyn Nelson. Carolyn, the Lord, the Lord going the Lord gonna preserve you. Because there's a great work that you gotta do. Apoliana says my first time. God bless you, Apoliana. Apolonia. I don't even know if I said that right. God bless you. Yes, meet me in person in November. Yes, if you're in if you're in Tulsa, you can meet me on 24th to 26th. If you're I really, really prefer for y'all to come to in November. <laughs> But if you're close to Tulsa, you can come. <laughs> Welcome to the flow. My ear has not worked since I was about two years. Is there a reason? I'm just asking, sir. Amen. I'll pray about it. If he give me anything, I definitely will tell, share with you. God bless you, Heidi Rumsey. God bless you, Matrina. Have been here a while. Never got prophecy like months. God bless you. Krishama Plummer, I cover you in the name of Jesus. May God give you a word. And what I want to encourage you to do is to keep on coming because I want you to take into consideration that there are many people that are on here. And I don't always get the opportunity to see every, um, I don't always see everybody's comments. Sometimes at Facebook, it's not a Prophet Bennett thing. It's a Facebook thing. And I don't, and I don't, I don't get to see everybody's comments. And it's not because I'm purposely overlooking you. Some people will think that it's purposeful, but they don't allow me to see every comment. Sometimes I'm seeing the same comments, or some same people. So when I encourage you to share or to invite or to whatever the case might be, it's for a reason. God bless you, Dolores. First to Hallandale Beach, Florida. God bless you from Jamaica. First time watching from West Virginia. God bless you, Kathy Wolf. Um, Black China from Rome of Georgia. I, I, I guess that might not be. In, are you going to be in Tulsa? What are the dates? Uh, yes, LeVar Williams, I'll be in Tulsa the 24th through the 26th. If you look on my page, if you look on my page, it's posted on my page and I'll be in Tulsa. God bless you, Linda McDowell from Florence. God bless you. God bless, God bless, God bless. Let me see. When you come to Richmond, Virginia, I'm actually coming to Richmond, Virginia for something different. I'm going to Amelia, Virginia because that's a long story, but I'm supposed to visit my father's father. We just found out that he's really my father, <laughs> my father's father. So that's another story for another time. That's that's going to have to be like something that I, I want to go inside my group for those who are a part of my support group. We have a support group in the back. Um, it's in our private group. I'm from India. Please pray for my family. Father, do it for this woman from India in the name of Jesus. I'm going into the support group so we can have a little bit of conversation a back behind the scenes conversation a little bit. So if you're not a member of our support group, you can be a part of it. Amen. Facebook has something for special people who support the supporters. So I have a little group that we go in there sometime. I talk for, we've been talking for a little bit, but I'm going to do some other things in there really soon. So if you want to be a supporter, hey, God bless you, Vera. Right down there on the right hand side, right hand side down on the, God bless you, Diane. There's a little shield. You can hit that shield and you can, if you want to register to be one, you can, or you, you, you don't have to, but if you want to, we going over there in a minute so I can have conversation. God bless you, Tasha Lee from the Bahamas. God bless you. First time from Trinidad, Laverne. God bless you from Trinidad. So if you want to become a supporter and want to come over there with us, come over there and join. Amen. Because I got some little projects. God bless you, Troy, in Trinidad. Do we have any South Carolinians, any of my people from South Carolina on here? Not South Carolina folks. God bless. Okay. We're going to go in the support group. You can, have, you can join the support group. Welcome to all our first timers to the flow. Welcome. God bless you. Love you. And I'm going to explain to you how the flow works. Amen. In the flow group, I mean the prophetic flow, 
I usually start out with prayer or a teaching. I move in prophecy. And as God gives me names and information, I give people what God gives me. The only time we take up money is towards the end in the offering. And it's always free will. There's no obligation. And no, you don't have to pay for prophecy. Because when the Lord wants to speak to you, he will speak regardless. Okay, so... What does it mean to see a clown? It depends on what context the dream was in. You can, yes, you can join the group. Just hit the group right there. We about to go over there right now. So if you want to come over in the group, the only way you can get in the group is you got to join South Carolina, but it's not my first time. God bless you, Latoya Rashawn. Barbara from South Carolina. Barbara Bush. Keisha Ware from Charleston. All right. I see my South Carolina. I got Missouri on here. I got St. Lucia. Make sure y'all all follow the page. But also go and like the page. You got to like the page. Sometimes you don't get notices, notifications. And also, if you're in, if you want to be a part of the texting, you can text the word flow to 88202. That's how you be. St. Stephen, South Carolina. All right, Monique Kelly, we're looking to see you soon. Look at who is this. I see somebody from Buford on here. Tiana Smalls. God bless you, Tiana. I'm in Buford too. God bless you. We might be related because my family is the Smalls too. So I'm not sure. All right, go ahead. Orlando, Florida. All right, Orlando. Hay una persona aquí que puede entender lo que estoy diciendo ahora mismo. Si tú me puedes entender lo que estoy diciendo, yo quiero que tú me respondas en inglés y yo quiero que tú me digas, chamar, yo, yo te entiendo porque yo quiero saber cuántas personas pueden hablar el español porque yo hablo un español un chin. Entonces, si tú eres una gente que habla español, que me responda y que me diga, chamar, yo te entiendo. All right, I put that out there for some people. God bless you, Twyla Ferguson. So now y'all, Chicago's here. Now all of these people in South Carolina, when we do, tú, tú entiendes? Yo no, yo no sabía eso. Yo no sabía que tú hablabas español. So yeah, so Andrew, South Carolina. Look, that's a lot of. We got some people from South Carolina. We got we got our Jamaicans on the line too. Orangeburg is on here. Look at that. So I'm looking for y'all in November. I'm looking for y'all in November. I'm Mississippi. I'm South Carolina. No, it's not that far. My people's from Cape Verde. Palm Beach. The Bahamas. Oh, wow. Representing. We got Charleston. Charleston. We got Brooklyn. We got Belize. Look at this. We got Mississippi. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's bilingual, too. Orlando, Florida. Conyers, Georgia. Vera, what you doing in Conyers, Georgia? You don't move. Got North Carolina. I said, why, why, why you speak Spanish so good? Mira, porque yo habla, yo vivía en Santo Domingo por eso mismo. I speak Spanish so good. Yo vivía en Santo Domingo. I need to do a Spanish flow. Love how you speak fluent Spanish. Wow. Belize. Okay, we got Delaware, Dallas. Okay, let me see. We got St. Lucia. We got Florence. Okay, so I'm looking for y'all. got Decatur. I'm looking for y'all in November, the 4th through the 7th. You got to make it down. 4th through the 7th. I'm looking. Phoenix City, Alabama. Now, I think I've been to Phoenix City, Alabama. Close by Phoenix City, Alabama. I, I went to a church down there one time. Is that close to Columbus, Georgia? Is Phoenix City uh, close to uh, Columbus, Georgia? Tell me that it, it was a year this month. That's why I'm not substation anymore. Oh, wow. DR in Puerto Rico. You, oh. Mira, Ilani. Yo, yo vi tu uh, mensaje que tu me mandaste el otro día. Not my first time, but I'm from Chicago. Praying I get there. I'm praying that y'all be there as well. Bar Barbados. I was in Barbados one time. I got an opportunity to go to Barbados. I've been to Barbados. I've been to Trinidad. I've been to the Bahamas. I've been to Jamaica. I've been to Tortola. I've been to Antigua. Uh, where else have I been in the Caribbean? I used to minister down in the Caribbean. I used to preach down in the Caribbean. I used to really preach. But anyway, let me go ahead. We're going into my group so I can talk. And I was born in Jamaica, but I live in Baltimore. Oh, wow. Okay. God bless you. All right. I'm going on. I'll see y'all over inside of our support group. Can I come to Jamaica? Ooh, I'll see.